Hi everyone. So it's day nine in isolation, quarantine, at the Holiday Inn, which is so fun and holiday-like, Heathrow Airport, where the view is like that, and the weather is like that. And I am enduring this, highs and lows as usual. Last 24 hours, a little bit more in the low department, but I'm, I'm dealing with it and that's all good. You know what I've found? Anyone who finds himself in solitary confinement like this, please do what I've done and resort to something. And it's deep inside you. It's deep inside us all. It is the power of imagination. The power of imagination has saved me at different times in my life. It saved me at a terrible prep school, the Rose Hill Preparatory School for Boys, Tunbridge Wells, Kent, in the 1970s, when all the teachers were either white supremacists or pedophiles. Truly awful place. It allowed me to zone out and step through a kind of portal into my own world, and that saved me. And the power of imagination saved me too when I was in Pakistani torture prison with my film crew in Peshawar about 15 years ago. I, in that experience, I just slipped down into the wild frenzy of my own imagination and conjured landscapes that were just delicious and delightful. And a third time in my life, I'm having to use the power of imagination to get through solitary confinement here, the unnecessary solitary confinement at Heathrow Airport. And when I first arrived here nine days ago, I thought um, I would make, make it so much fun that I wouldn't even want to leave when they finally allowed me out. As part of my ritual, we're back on wooden spoons. I'm laying the ninth wooden spoon down here on my altar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because I don't have a calendar. Um, I want to thank the people who sent me incredibly delicious and fabulous gifts, including a gingerbread kettle. Hang in there. I love it. And this, 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 it, I never thought I'd say this, this adhesive window with view, which has really brightened up my day and even the night. I swear I could hear the sound of the ocean rumbling through there. I know you're asking about Frank. Frank and I, we were going to have Aztec Day today, but Frank, Frank vetoed it. I don't know why. I've got my, I've got my um, ideas why he vetoed it, but he vetoed it. And he insisted that we don't even do Genghis Khan Day. We don't do um, uh, original home nations of America Day. Not yet. No, Frank wouldn't allow it. All night, Frank has been tinkering and planning and calculating. And he's built a time machine. Here it is. Time machine. Here are the controls. This, this is the flux capacitor. He plans to take us to 26th of October, 1985. Frank's all ready for this. He's in the back seat of the DeLorean. There he is. I don't know about this, Frank. I don't know about your calculations. We could end up as glue. So all I know is that I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy t-shirt and I've got a towel. I don't know about 1985 and all of that, but I do believe in Douglas Adams. So frank I am. Here we go, my friend. The greatest adventure of our lives is about to begin. I'm climbing into the time machine. Uh-oh, some of the controls just fell. I'll just reposition them. Here we are. Okay, Frank, how do I do this? The flux capacitor, is it, is it churning? Have we got that set? We got it set. Here we go, people. I'm moving back the lever, the lever, in order to go to 1985. Next stop, 1985. From Frank and me, over and out.